What's going on, everybody in the world? We're going to actually sort this by rarite. Thank you guys so much for, for being here with us for our first M19 draft on Magic the Internet. Fibblethip.uk. Vivian's Invocation. Look at the top seven cards of your library. You want to put a creature card from among them onto the battlefield with the rest on the bottom. So, and then it fights. But it, oh, it's just one sided fights? That's actually pretty okay. Uh, Vine Mare is actually pretty good. Hexproof, and it can be blocked by black creatures for a 5 3. Elish Rejuvenator, when it, look at the top five cards from a land card. So, this is just Wood Elves. This is basically, in my, in my estimation, this is a Wood Elves. Um, what draft is this? This, yeah, you got you, you, you said it. Plus one, plus seven. Okay, well that's hot and garbage. When this enters the battlefield, exile a non permanent until it leaves. All right, that's actually pretty good. Is it just? Is it? I'm gonna take the Vivian's invocation. Like this is removal and it's a thing. I think I think it's probably stronger than Vine Mare if we're gonna pick a green card. Lightning Mare. That's a three one. Can't be countered. Can't be blocked by blue bloobers. Salvager of Secrets is a 2 2. And here's Battlefield Return Instant or Sorcerer from your hand. That's actually not terrible. This is your typical, uh, your Is It Cronarch ability. Essence Scatter seems probably pretty good in this format. Rise from the Grave was always one of my favorite, um, Zombify effects because it costs one more, but it also lets you choose any, grave any graveyard, which is a big deal. Uh, Departed Deck Hand 2 2. When it comes to Tarvis, plus sacrifice it. Okay, so it's an illusion, not a spirit, interestingly enough. Can't be blocked except by spirits. Another creature control can't be blocked by the except by spirits. Okay, yeah, that's whatever. Um, destroy a tapped creature seems pretty good, although I don't know why it's a sorcery. Like, I guess so they can get an attack in. I like this better than this. Yeah, I'm just going to take the Essence Scatter. Oh, Frank took the blue card. Big surprise. Everybody's so surprised right now. I'm really surprised. You're surprised. Everybody's surprised. There's a lot of surprise going on. If you control a creature with power four or greater, draw a card. Seems okay. Psychic symb Symbiont. What the, sh what, the, what the shit? Flying. A 3-3 three, three flyer for six. When it enters battlefield, target opponent discards a card and you draw a card. I don't hate that, but boy, is that some kind of like mediocre limited ability. That's probably the pick, right? Colossal Majesty seems pretty good, too. Drawing a card every turn is a, is a big game. I mean, I'm used to Blood Divination um, drawing you three cards and not costing you a creature. To make sure. <clears throat> plus one, plus one, and trample, and you return it from your graveyard hand, sure. Oh, Snapping Drake is a good is a good boy. Plus plus two plus oh when it dies return to the battlefield, sure. I'm pretty familiar with this. Only it was called Supernatural Strength back in my day, and it cost one mana, not two. Back in my day, Oak and Form plus three plus three, sure, sure. Um it's probably just one of these two, to be quite honest. We can probably just splash this off of something primitive. This gets back an essence scatter and probably Oh, it also gets back the Vivian's invocation. Yeah, let's take the Salvager of Secrets here. Oh, I guess people don't want these. Foul Orchard could be good for us because it has... It can let us splash this Symbiont pretty easily. Bog Stomper? Just a, you're just a 6-5 for 6? That's pretty boring. Doom Dissenter? Could be alright if the uh, draw 3 cards comes back. I doubt it will, though. I have my doubts. Thank you. I'm just going to take the Foul Orchard here. I think it's... Actually, these are common? Interesting. Architect this Ar architect the duck. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. How many drafts did you just take to feel comfortable in a new format? Um, quite a bit. Probably around like ten ish, I would say. Oh, uh, Wall of Mist. Look at that. Mm. Could just be sleep here. Sleep is actually pretty strong. Four six that can't be blocked is also not terrible, especially when we have Vivian's Invocation. I would like some earlier things, though. Earlier than four mana. Also, sleep is good when we have double salvager. I'm going to take the sleep here. 
Prefer to snapping joy pads preferred. Oh, Snappy D? That sounds we can do that. That sounds manageable. Uh Divination seems okay. Spark tongue dragon three three for five. You're gonna pay three. So this guy costs eight. <laughs> Excuse me. Haha. <laughs> Blood Divination actually did come back. That's kind of interesting. Or well it didn't come back, but there's another one. Is that just better than regular divination when we're splashing? Probably not. I think I'd rather just have regular divination here. It's one less card, but it's one less mana, and it's also one less sacrificial creature. If we don't have a creature on board and we're just top decking a card, I'd rather have a divination. Plus, it's easier on the mana base. This pack's pretty mediocre. I'm just going to take the cancel, because our deck looks like it's canceling things. Alright, well. Elvish Rejuvenator is actually kind of what we want here, because we want to be able to find an extra land. Also ramps us from 3 to 5, which is super nice. Yeah, I'll just take Rejuvenator here. That seems great. Uh, I don't know how good natural... How many Lightning Mares could we have had? <laughs> just the really aggressive Lightning Mare deck. Um, is it Basil? It's probably just Naturalize. Naturalize seems stronger than a 2-2. Two -two. Every time you cast Sleep on your opponent, will you send them this link in the Moto chat? Probably not, but I'll see what it is. <laughs> Oh my god. That's amazing. But still, no. But maybe. Maybe. Also, the Vivian's Invocation with Daggerback Basilisk is it's a good combo. It's a good combo. A wall of, wall of garbage. Alright, so this is our first 10 picks. I don't feel terrible about them, but... Uh, I am questioning the longevity of this set. I'll be honest with you guys. Boom. That's a good one. I got less excited about her because she's only like three tickets, but it's still a I think she's still a very, very good planeswalker, especially in limited. Um, so I'm gonna take the planeswalker. What if preferred a nickel bolus or a Tezzeret? She's literally the least expensive one, actually. A Johnny, Liliana, Sarkon, and Tezzeret are more expensive, so is Nickel Bolus. I literally opened the least expensive Tezzeret. Or the least, least expensive planeswalker, which is comical. But Whatever. Rex Sage is good. Centaur Courser is good. Frontal damage that we dealt this turn. Don't care about that. Let's say okay. So this is just a this is just a um, climbing Kavu, but a three as a four two instead of a three three. Knight of the Tusk. So it's either 3-3 three, three for 3, Rex Sage, which is awesome that it's in this format now. Or the Oracle. I don't think it's Oracle. We already have a bunch of guys that deal 2. I think we actually just want the 3-3. Three, three. We already have a Naturalize in the sideboard for anything Rex Sage can hit. Actually, I mean, I don't know how frequently we're going to see this. We didn't see any of these in the first pack. I will I'll take the Rex Sage just because of the versatility. Ooh, I like a Woodland Stream. This is just 3-mana draw card? It seems pretty good, actually. I would like this Woodland Stream, but realistically, three mana draw card in limited in, in like a, a slower format like this seems really good. Hmm. What up, Josh? I did no pre-releases. I'm gonna take this Arcane Encyclopedia because that seems good. What is this? The beginning of your upkeep, you gain a life. Sacrifice, draw a card. That doesn't seem terrible. Look, it's it's our it's our boy. It's your boy, Dreadmaw. We're probably just going to take this guy because I... Oh, God, why? Why is this reprinted again? Because this is probably just better than anything else here. And it's a good it's a good target with the invocation. Can you imagine if we Vivian's invocation, we hit Psychic Symbiot, Symbiont, uh, we draw a card, they discard a card, and we get to kill a thing? That's a pretty, that's pretty good value. Ooh, 
Ooh, what is this guy? Five, five with vigilance for five? That's pretty good. I will take that guy all day. Better than Snappy. Better than Snappy D, as far as uh, as far as I'm concerned. Turd Maw has moved on up from your boy to that guy that sleeps on your cut. Oh, you're here again, huh? All right, well, that's cool, I guess. Oh, I like another Essence Scatter. Especially because we don't have anything to do with 2-drop. I like Anticipate being in this format again. That's cool. I'm just going to be scattering the Essences, though. One reinforcing behavior buck. Snappy D. Wow, that's fantastic. God. All I have to do is do the things you say, and then the bucks come flowing in. Unbelievable. I do kind of want another Elvish Rejuvenator so I can hit another hit another land to, to go straight into this 5-drop. We can go Essence Scatter into Rejuvenator into any one of these, and I'm okay with it. What do you do? Oh, you're that idiot from the... Yeah, we're just going to take this guy. Now we got that Snappy D. Well, Snappy... Oh, oh, Druid of the Cow? Oh, that's great. Remove three, take an extra turn. No, we ain't doing all that. Gift? Oh, there's the Rejuvenator we wanted. And there's a Snappy D. What is this? A 3-5 five for 5. It gets plus 2 as long as you control blue. So 5-5 five, five for 5? That's not terrible. I'd rather have the card guy. Oh, uh, this is also a card. Whenever one or more creatures leaves the battle, creature cards leaves the battle, the graveyard, create a 1 1 bat. That's not happening. Oh, another Snappy D? Gift is better than Reju. Well, I disagree with your face because we can hit a gift off of uh, Vivian Reed, bruh. We can also hit a gift off of a Vivian's Invocation, or a Riju off of Vivian's Invocation, which is not nothing. Take all the Snappy Ds. Uh, I feel like with three snapping drakes and a Vivian Reed, we're actually okay on, on flyers, along with two essence scatters and a cancel. I don't feel like flyers are necessarily our issue at current time, but we'll see. Got a real exciting sideboard sideborg over here. Oh, scape shift. That's exciting. What is that, a nickel? Two nickels? 3-3 three, three, when it enters the battlefield. Destroy a non-land permanent. That's actually not bad. We just take the scape shift here. It's two tickets, but whatever. I'm not going to play any of these other cards. I don't care about a disperse in our deck. I'll just take the scape shift. Maybe it goes up. Whatever. Meteor Golem's fine, but seven mana. Ugh. I'll regret it, I'm sure. What's the stip on this one? Was there a Gravedigger in there? I must have just missed the Gravedigger because I'm not on the green. Dragon's Horde. 
Three mana, whenever it enters, when it enters the battlefield under your control, put a gold... Whenever a dragon enters, put a gold counter on it. Remove a gold counter, draw a card. Add one mana of any color. So it's basically just a... It's a strictly better mana lith by itself. Return to her creature and opponent controls to his understand. Oh, gas. Gasoline. Look at this 3-2 with flash for this black creature. What is that about? What's that all about? Yeah, I'm going to take the bouncer guy. Our deck looks really good. Maybe I'm biased because it's our deck, but... So what are you looking for at this point for the deck? I have no idea. I don't even know what's in this set. Dan Omac, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it, buddy. You are awesome. How about a Gin of Wishes? That's a pretty good hit. Oh, this card's also pretty good. 4-4 four, four Flyer, but... I mean, well, like, obviously we're taking the Gin, but... <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, we have to cut one of these five drops, presumably. We also just cut the Psychic Symbiote, but that just seems really good. Harpy is cute. Negative six, negative zero. When a Chenna creature blocks, destroy it. That's actually solid removal. Interesting. Return a non-land permanent, sure. I don't think we need another creature. We have 16 creatures. I'm going to take the Dwindle. It's actually reasonable removal. Branchwood armor. Blanchwood. Blanchwood, like from uh, the Golden Girls. I feel like Highland Game is just better than Greenwood Sentinel. The two life just seems better than the 2-2 two -two Vigilance. Yeah, I'm going to take this guy. I don't think we need another three drop here. Anticipate seems fine. I doubt we'll play it. I would really like some of these in our colors, but... No, 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 no. Nah. Recollect could be fine. Nothing, huh? All right. What is this? Plus seven, plus seven has trample? Actually, this could just be insane. I don't know if this is good, but in limited, this could probably be bonkers. Do we have any hexproof bros? I don't, I don't imagine so. Is Rexage a sideboard card? That's a question I'm asking ourselves. Why can't we just get one in our colors? That's all I want. Oh, only one hexproof in the whole set. That's interesting. Don't dislike you. Deck's pretty good. You have to cut two cards though, and I don't want to cut any of them. Sixteen creatures, so I guess it's not terrible to cut a creature here. Probably gonna cut this Daggerback Basilisk. It's pretty underwhelming. I might just run forty-one cards because our deck is real strong. We have a lot of fixing. Probably 881. Eight, we only have one, but we have double uh, this guy to try to hit it. Yeah, this seems great. We're going to play it like this.
Let's do it. We need to start a counter. How many drafts for Frank Tobin and Nikki B? That's a good question. That is a good question. Let's find out. On the next Dragon Ball Z. Also, Vivian Reed made my top eight Planeswalker list on Patreon, if you guys haven't checked that out. It's top eight uh, M19 cards, rather, not a Planeswalker list. So if you guys haven't done so, you can check out my top eight favorite cards over on uh, patreon.com slash franklapore. If that does anything for you. And you can figure out the uh, all the other cards that I like. I will play first. And I won't because they didn't ask me. But if I if they asked me, I would have. I would say yes. They went to five, so I feel like uh, we're already winning. Why are you guys looking for deck? Why did you enter the deck list and then deck separately when they're both the same command? And we're not even playing a constructed deck. I don't understand anything that's happening right now. Well, that's a big, that's a big, big. All right. One land gets you two lands, thanks to Divination. One land gets you two. That's, that's how you do it in the casino. Okay, that's fine. Just don't play any dragons and we're good to go. Oh, we did it, boys. All right, one time. Oof. So close. So close. Such, such rejuvenation. Oh, I'll block it. Land. No land? Um, I kind of want to hit a land here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we, yeah, we definitely want to hit a land here. We did it. We're so good at this game. So next turn we can play. We can play growth on this guy. Just make an 8-8 trample. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll still block. I'm still going to block. Oh, it's probably just Ginny of Wishes, right? We have six mana. Yeah, it's better than Snapping Drake here. Snappy Boy. If we draw any other land, we can play Snappy Boy and queue up Cancel, which is better. Oh, Genie. Oh, Genie. <laughs> yep. Did not see that coming. Really? I'll take one. Deal. One time. 5-5. Five, five. Give me that 5-5, five, five, boy. Oh, these are both pretty unimpressive, but... Eh. What can you do? Still get to kill this guy. <laughs> Got him. Okay, well, you're not kicking it, so. Well, we're going to kill this before you can draw any cards from it. And we're probably going to bounce this next turn. Maybe. So now we can keep up scatter and cancel, or we can actually do a thing. 
or we can we can get snappy with it. No, 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 no. Getting snappy with it. I think one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah, we can just wait till next turn. Like I think the way we lose this game is if they play something we can't deal with, and we have multiple counter spells in our hand. Remember the time we had creatures that didn't have one toughness? Yeah, me neither. It is joke because they all have one toughness. Four, five, six. Not doing that. I'm really disheartened at how uh, how effective this Doom Dissenter is. What does this do? Oh, God. What is this, Dragon Tribal over here? Just kill it anyway? Pfft. Oof! Pretty good. I'll trade here. Oh, they didn't play a land. Well, that's intriguing. Hmm. Could just bounce this guy. Doesn't do much. Or oh, just bounce this guy, keep up one, two, three, four, five, and then we have three mana left. So we have eight mana. We can either play one of these or both of these. Or one of these and keep this up. I don't think them discarding a card is super great. I'd rather just start getting damage in and try to win the game. I'd rather just have an eight eight. you block here yeah this feels fine we have essence scatter like I don't foresee them getting this back at any point soon because they only have four mana so even if they have five mana they still have to use one for this and I don't know how many dragons there are that cost four or less Uh, sure. So you take 8, 9, 10, you take 13. That's pretty good. Get him. What's up, Vencer? Good seeing you, buddy. This is an eight eight. Like this is a this is a must deal with threat, and you can't deal with it with uh, any sort of damage based removal. So and apparently prodigious growth does it. Oh, that was the most prodigious win I've ever seen. This art's fantastic. Oh, it's good stuff. Hey, that's good stuff. Awesome, what is the link to your stream? <laughs> Do you mind if I watch your stream currently? Oh, 
stretches. Is this hand good? Not really. Is it bad? Yes. Are we gonna mulligan? Yeah, this hand's better. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is a good curve. Oh yeah. Oh, that guy's aggressive. Ah, oh, our opponent has uh, entered the the chat now. So, hey, opponent, how you doing? Hope you're enjoying the stream. Glad you figured out that we are streamer. No idea what your intention is, but entering the stream when someone's streaming is weird. So I guess we'll just use our our hand shield. Because there's just no real reason to enter someone's stream while you're playing against them. Like, you can just wait. Just poor form. So can we get the thing that we want from the other thing. Maybe. Who knows? This guy. Uh, you can tell because you can look in... You can just see who's in the chat. So, yeah. All right. Four damage? Sure, I'll just play this guy. Ghost needs a shitty thing to do, Bits. Nicely done. See, the good thing about it is if they're not actually ghosting, um, no harm done, right? Because they don't get to see us criticize ghosting, and it's actually inaccurate. It's not true. So. Seems good. Guess we're going to six. I mean, ideally we hit something like a colossal, we hit land and a colossal dreadmaw on this guy. Nope. Nope. All right. Pretty sure we're just dead here, but. Sure. Oh, man. Good times. Good times. Oh, they're no longer in the chat. Interesting. Huh. How fascinating. This hand is rough, but I, I kind of like it because the Vivian Reed, which kills things. Um, so the thing is, like, if you go to Twitch, right, and you go, you see all the people streaming, and then you're like, oh, I noticed that he is streaming. Like, the, he is a streamer. He is streaming right now. That's all you have to do. You don't actually have to ever click on their name, right? Like, you don't have to actually go into the stream of the person you're playing against, right? I just don't understand the mentality of it is all. Okay, we really want to hit the, the three-mana Rejuvenator guy here. Uh, 
I will also accept lands. Now Rejuvenator. That's kind of like a Rejuvenator, I guess. Sure. <laughs> Just kill anything you see. You got it. Oh, look at that. You did nothing. Well, just gonna run out of Planeswalker. Like you do. Dreadmaw or Rejuvenator? Let's go Dreadmaw because that seems harder to deal with. Planeswalkers are cool. Too cool for school. See what we get. Oh, an island or a snapperino? Hmm. Oh, diagraph ghoul. Relevant. Just keep on plussing. I'm actually going to bounce this guy this turn because then they can't... I feel like they're trying to uh, draw some cards next turn. And I don't want you to do that. So I'm just going to bounce it. You got an emblem with creatures you control. Get plus two, plus two, vigilance, trample, and indestructible. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I don't imagine that's going to get beat. Electro electrify this guy? Sure. Now they're going to play Dragon to attack Vivian Reed. We get to kill the Dragon, put Vivian to one. It's pretty sure this game's over. Unless I am sorely mistaken. We also have Perilous Growth in hand, which is pretty pretty busted. Sure. I'm just going to block here. <laughs> I'd rather Vivian have two more counters than have an exclusion, exclusion mage on my side of the board. So. Oh, wow. I'll take Swamp here. Play Swamp. Four, five, six. We have eight mana, so we can actually only do one thing this turn. Oh, boy. That was a good, that was a good draw. Plague Mare. Two, two for three. It's actually very good against our deck because we had a ton of X ones, but destroy target creature, gain three. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, I don't think we actually necessarily win next turn if we keep the mage, um, just because we have no idea what they're doing. But yeah, it is possible. Oh, I'll take a gin. <laughs> One, two, three. We can actually just play both of these guys. Seven, eight, nine, ten. We can put you to one. Might as well wait it out, right? I feel like prodigious growth just says there's nothing you can really do that's going to change the game here. Forest. All right. I should do. Our board's pretty good. I knew you would be back. I told him you were just getting cigarettes. No one else believed, but I did. John Graham Doe, thanks so much, buddy. Uh, appreciate your appreciation for our return.
four, five, six, seven, eight. We have lethal on board. See, and then they say, like, good luck on the rest of your draft. You have a great deck. I don't really feel like they ghosted. I think they just wanted to check and see if we're streaming. They did it poorly because it's just, it's bad. For me personally, uh, I get defensive when someone enters my stream when they're playing against me um, because I just don't see the reason for it. But, I like I said, I will give them the benefit of the doubt and assume that they just went into to check to see if we were streaming, so... So, no harm done, we'll say. But, I mean, like, I think it's a fair assessment to, to assume someone is, is ghosting you if they enter your stream while you're streaming, you know? I think that's a fair conclusion to draw because there's no, there's literally no other reason to enter someone's stream unless you want to watch them play magic. Like, it's just, that's literally the, the only purpose of the stream, so. You know. Uh, this is my first game, first match, so second match now, so uh, I couldn't actually tell you how the format is. Other people probably could. They might have played some games this weekend at the uh, ye old pre-releases. Oh, and Rezra just followed. So, Rezra, thank you so much for the follow, buddy. Appreciate it. Uh, we got a little we got a little uh, suspicious that you might have been ghosting because you entered the the chat during the match, but uh, I don't think I I don't think that was the case anymore, so. Um Appreciate the follow. To tell your friends that you got on someone's stream? What does that mean, though? But, like, you don't have to enter the, uh... But you don't have to enter the stream to do that. You just have to play against them. <laughs> and you, to tell your friends, you don't actually have to get into the... Sh Sorry, I just wanted to see if you're a streamer. <laughs> no worries, buddy. No worries. You didn't, you didn't strike me as someone cheating, so... I just I, I I have a like a like a hair trigger reaction to people just entering that I'm playing against entering the chat because I'm just like why would you do this why you do this oh that's a good card we're just gonna play you um, we're gonna bounce the swift claw and just block the child of night I think now we're gonna block the child of night oh what a child of night. Late December, back in 63. What a child of the night. We could also do the Guns N' Roses rendition, which is Oh, Sweet Child of Night. Oh, 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 sweet child of night. Ooh, yeah. Be something good. Okay, I mean, a forest is not bad, I suppose. Um, if by any chance you compared to someone that was in chat from the beginning, would you prefer if your opponent told you their decks? Uh, I, I mean, I think that would be fair, but I don't think it's required. <sighs> I'm just going to take this. Right? Like, I mean, I think the gesture is awesome. Like, that's an awesome gesture. I think you have to, you have to accept the fact that some people are going to be watching your stream when you, when you're streaming. Um, but, you know, alternatively, interesting. Um, she goes to six and then they just can't kill her and then we can just choose to block whatever. Yeah, let's do that. I like that better than just killing random two, two. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, the value is so real. So next time we go this guy, and then we presumably draw a land in the next two Vivian hits. For 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 her for her invocation. Vivian into Vivian's invocation. Yeah, there's a difference between knowing the deck. Like, I mean, you can just assume what like I can assume what's in their deck just without even having seen it, right? But there's a difference between knowing the deck and like being able to have perfect information of every single thing that's in your hand. That's that's the unfun part. Uh, Modern was 04, Chad. Thank you very much. God, he's so aggressive. Chad, you're so aggressive about rubbing my losses in my face. It's unbelievable. 
Oh, wow, you mighty leapt? Oh, you mighty leapt the guy who didn't... Oh, all right. Sweet! That swamp would be right here, because then we can psychic symbiont instead. Oh, druid is not bad, but the... we have enough land, so it's not a land. I don't have seven mana, though. We can Rex Sage and Druid, but... I'd probably just rather have Jin here, because they're not killing... I think we're just going to keep taking the good cards, because... They're not going to be killing Vivian if they... If they if they have a... They're going to have to removal spell, pump spell to kill Vivian. And we've already drawn, like, three cards off of her already, so... I see. I'm pretty sure we just block this. That's really strong, though. Plus two and first strike is pretty strong. Their life total is also one million. Vivian in the long run is just stronger, though. At least that's my opinion. At least that's what I always say. Oh. Oh, that gets an invocation back next turn. And we don't have any big guys yet, so let's get a big guy. Uh, we did not get a big guy. That is unfortunate. Where are all the big guys at? Where are them big dudes at? We could just take a Rejuvenator to hit another land. God, we're getting so landy here. Yeah, we're going to try to hit a Swamp here. Plus it kills either way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Swamp one time? Wow, the only land. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just gorgeous. Dang it. So Vivian still goes to two. Still holding on, drawing us an extra card every single turn. Alright, well. Not terrible. What a lady, what a nut. Alright, so what can, what can we get with this? One, two, three, four, five. And then we have one, two, four left. So we can get... Yeah, this is just fine. We just make just do a million things every turn. So take you. Five, six, seven, eight. We're one away. This is also six, five, six, seven, eight, two, nine mana. Four and three, and that doesn't do it. I just want to block this guy. I'm pretty sure it's Seeker and Snapper. <laughs> and by Seeker, I mean Salvager of, Seek Sal Salvager of Secrets. Yeah, Arctic is very good. They have to kill both of these guys to kill Vivian Reed. I don't think they're going to do it. I guess if they just kill this, we're forced to block here to save Vivian. And then they just have two guys on board. But next time we get to Invocation, so... Meh. Oh, I see. Well, that's fine. We have Rex Sage. <laughs> that's actually better for us because then she starts out at 5 again and goes to 6. Yeah, we're just going to trade with everything they have because our guys are just bigger. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can actually just Invocation and Rex Sage. Yeah, that's pretty good. Is this where we run out of cards in M15, M19 draft? Yeah, we're still just not hitting very good targets, but whatever. I feel, <laughs> I feel like complaining about that is pretty ridiculous. So I'm just going to just keep my mouth shut about it. This is a three for one. This is a two for one. And we have a little Vivian on board. So Colossal Dreadmaw. Island is what I meant.
Oh, there is a colossal dreadmoth. Six, seventy nine, ten, eleven, so six and I'm actually gonna take the Bayloth here so we can go one, two, three, four, five, six. This guy. And we'll play Bayloth. Get. Oh, we just won the game. Okay, well, we didn't have to really show them much more. They were at 30 million life, so. I wonder if we want this naturalized in here. I don't know, Matter X seems pretty good, right? <laughs> <laughs> and they never drafted a deck this good again. Yeah, I'm just going to submit. A little overwhelming for being stuck on two lands for that many turns. Yeah, I agree with you. I'm not... I'm not going to argue with you. Oh. <laughs> yes, please. Any, the, I'll, I'll keep any Vivian Reed hand because this card seems busted and limited. Yeah, when I say you too, and I have the exclamation mark, everyone's like, did you just call your opponent a tool? Oh, they went to five? Ooh, yikes. Yikes. It's no good. So we got the three, four, five, six, six. If we got, uh, if we got the manas for it. Look at that swift claw, Swifty McClarson. Let's draw a Rejuvenator Elf. That's just fine. Druid of the Cow. Look at the top four cards of your library and reveal a creature with power two or less and put it into your hand. And they got a 1-1 one, one at the beginning of your turn. If you control three more creatures, it gets plus one, plus one until... I'm sure, it's just a 2-2. Two, two. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. Go back to your home, which is your bonus. We can just easily block here and then uh, not care about anything else. So, Planeswalkers that start at five and immediately go to six is just very, very good. Uh, I don't strictly stream MTG, but I stream predominantly MTG. Oh, interesting. I feel like you're going to regret this choice when when I don't have when I play like Vivian Reed and then you don't have a way to force damage through because right now I'm probably just going to take four it's a real long hair don't care situation <laughs> whatever that means whatever that means give me like a swamp so I can just play this naturally okay you don't want to do that I understand pretty sure we don't want to play Vivian Reed because you have to tap the druid to do that so then we have one blocker this is a 2-2, two, two, this is a 2-1, this is a 2-3. You can block the 2-2. Two, two. She takes 4 and goes to 2. That doesn't seem great. So we'll just play this. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, we'll block here. 
And we'll block here, I guess. We'll see what happens. That was pretty good for us. That was a surprisingly good trade when we're going to plop a Vivian Reed down. Sure. Yay, let's do this. Uh, let's take the Vigilant Bailoth. Boy, they really they really don't beat around the bush with this title. Oh, it's a Vigilant Bailoth. What is it? It's a beast that has vigilance. Oh. All right, you guys really weren't It's a little Do you feel it's a little on the nose? No, it's fine. Okay. Oh, is that two? Oh, this is a, the double Vanguard deck? And that's an uncommon? My god. My god. What a time to be alive. Dang. I could just put the the growth on this and attack for ten. Well, I'd rather put it on the Bailoth though, to be quite honest, and uh, have a vigilant twelve twelve. Just gonna keep this Vivian Reed alive. How handsome would a Viggy Viggy Bailoth avatar be? Pretty handsome. That seems like one of the more handsome avatars you could have. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this pretty boy. Oh boy, we have a good time. This mentor of the Meek's doing some work though. The funny thing is, by now we're gonna have looked through eighteen cards of our deck because of this. So we look at five. Oh, it's a top four. So fifteen cards rather. Three draws, and then and there's the swamp arena that we wanted. We just put this on here. Five. It's, it's a million. And then if they have the the exile spell, right? Then what happens? Um, it's a block here, here probably. Block here. We take one, two, three, four, five, six. She goes to two. She still survives. They've wasted their turn. We get to play like more things. YOLO. Yeah, we're just going to keep this back. Because if they do have it, I don't really want to... Vivian Reed doesn't die next turn, which is great. Plus, if we plus Vivian Reed to hit Rex Sage, we get a, still get a 5-5 five, five Vigilant Blocker back. Okay, that is not it. Also, the white destroy target tapped creature doesn't do it because he's a vigilant Bayloth. I don't know how to. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You have eleven power, so or eleven toughness rather. Oh wow, this is aggressive. This is the most desperate thing I've ever seen. Vigilance, Trample, Indestructible. Does that do it? Probably, right? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. So we have 17 power on board? No, it's not. It's They have to block with two guys, though, which is pretty brutal. I'm pretty sure they can't win through this <laughs> with us at six. I guess they could just block with bunk with Bert with bug bugler. The militia bugler. All 
Our deck seems good. Do you guys think this deck seems good? It feels good. Viv's just bringing the forest to everyone's front door. <laughs> oh, dang. Yeah, Vivian's pretty strong. Pretty, 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 pretty. I will play first. Oh my god, that bottle just fell over with no provocation. I'm going to keep this hand. Turns out Adventurous Impulse, uh, when you get to look at four cards instead of three, and they don't actually take a card out of your hand, and your Planeswalker goes up one loyalty, is pretty good. It's, it's like Adventurous Loyalty plus three separate other perks. Ooh. You guys hear that? That was really loud. It's a werewolf? This looks like a werewolf, doesn't it? You have my attention at Ferry, but with company, you have my interest. Okay, well. Oh, this is an O3? Wow, I was actually like, oh, that seems aggressive, but it's not. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Oh, that's fantastic. That's the exact one we wanted. Why is he talking like that? I think this probably got, this guy's probably good because it can block a ton, but it can also do stuff in the late game, so. I'm just going to play this for now because it just keeps us going through the thing. The thing being our deck. Next time we can play Encyclopedia and draw. Oh, dang. You done messed up, A.A. Ron. I see you. Oh, man. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this uncommon fiasco here. I guess this is, these are all commons, huh? Hunter, listen. Listen, you can't be like this. No one, no one, you don't need to be like this. No, you can't do it. I think it's just Drake. And then next turn we can mage and Drake again or mage encyclopedia. I want to be able to block this guy. I might just block here though. I don't know. I think we're at a point where we can take two. How have you liked the new set so far? I did the pre-release on Sunday and opened a Chromium and had a pretty cool Esper deck, but I didn't know much about the format. It seems reasonably slow. It does seem slow because that's, I mean, I would say that's just uh, corset, corset shenanigans. What the hell does that mean? Um, yeah, I would assume it's going to be a slow set because of its corseted nature, but this is actually the first draft I've done, Bob's Cleric, and hopefully uh, we're going to win it. I am indeed in it to win it, in case you guys didn't know, but... Play this. It's a better use of mana, and maybe next turn we can draw a card from it. How many how many effects do you think they have that are going to sack that dragon egg, and then we're going to exclusion mage it back to the hand? I'm not sure why it has three toughness. Like if you just became the undead, it probably wouldn't be a fortifying experience. I agree with you. As soon as yeah, if you just became undead, three toughness is actually a lot. I'm just going to keep taking two because that seems less bad than you taking six. What is this? What does this do? I Sareth the Awakener. Three through three, three with Death Touch. Whenever it attacks, you may pay X. Return a card from your graveyard. Recur return to our creature from your graveyard. You don't have any in the graveyard. If that creature would leave the battlefield, exile. Sure. Sure. Let's draw a card. 
Let's do this thing. Let's play this guy. I am just going to attack with both of these. I'm probably just going to bounce your 3-3. Your three, three. I feel like that's the biggest threat to us right now. Josh, I only know one of the cards you just mentioned, and that is because I just read it. Um, this is interesting. I'm just going to block here. I don't know what's going to happen, so we're just going to... Hunter, you need to relax, bud. You are going ham. We have nine mana, so we can activate this and still... All right, sure. I think it costs four mana. Remember when ulcerate cost one mana? Well, but you lost a lot. Oh, that's going to be game. Let's draw a card first, right? I mean, they get their, their lady out, right? But... Lady... Also, Arcane Encyclopedia drawing extra cards per turn is also pretty... Oh, God, you're just going to kill all my guys with your four mana removal spells? Good lord. Okay, man. Put you to three, I guess. Yeah, I feel like Encyclopedia is... Pretty busted here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten mana next turn, so we could encyclopedia into Vivian's Invocation and play that. Ooh, tormenting voice, eh? Still no creatures in the graveyard for your legendary lady. Who's that lady? Legendary lady. Yeah, three mana to draw a card is pretty good. Um, usually, JM Day Tome is your standard where you pay four mana to draw the card. And that's still playable. <laughs> Speak of the devil. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll keep our options open. Fascinating. Well, that these have been unimpressive hits. Uh, choose target artifact is a May ability. Yeah, we'll choose that fight this dummy I guess we finally put a creature into a graveyard so that's a thing right alright uh, and I'm going to say no to this I don't know if you guys knew that Pro play, do not kill your own artifacts or enchantments unless there is an extremely beneficial reason to do so. All right, you have three cards. We know what one of them is. Hopefully Trample gets the job done. Six, seven, eight, nine. So you have to block six of this, all six of the Colossal Dreadmaw. 
or you can go block three here, O2 here, one one here. And then you still take three though, but then you can activate this guy and go to one. And then you get two creatures. Yeah, I don't know, man, magic's hard. What dryad are you guys talking about? Green? Is there a dryad in this set? Is it called dryad? Dryad Green Seeker. I'll just Google that because I'm I, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that uh, MTG Bot has not updated it just yet. One three for two. Look at Tom Cruise to land. You made real. Oh, that seems insane. That card seems busted. This almost seems constructed playable, doesn't it? That seems very, very strong. Capture those dinosaurs. All right, so that's not efficient. So three, four, five. I guess you can kill this guy. You take three, you go to... Okay, so same situation. But, um... Yeah, it's fine. I mean, I'm going to give you both of these guys. Take one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, lightning bolt that guy. Sure. So you take one, two, three, four, five, six. So we go to six, but then we block this guy, so that's fine. You go to one here. Yep. And we still have Essence Scatter and two other cards that we get to draw. So I'm not terribly afraid of this. We get to easily block here. You have to deal with this Dreadmaw again. We know one of the cards in your hand, which is a three, three. Uh, it seems like it's better than Branch Walker. I mean, in the decks that want it, it's better than Branch Walker. Like, Branch Walker is probably better than, than, like, in the Winding Constrictor decks, but Green Seeker seems better in the in the decks that actually, like, aren't going super all-in on creatures, you know? Like, I mean, it, being able to just do it every single turn, <laughs> especially if you have multiples out, if you have two of these out, and you just get to never draw a land again off the top of your deck from, from your draw step, like, it's pretty insane. Okay, okay. It's aggressive, but you're at one. I mean, you definitely have enough power to block this guy now. You can go three, three, two, 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 or you can just put three, three, and three, three, and oh, three in front. So kill both of them, just fine. Do we have anything that we can use? I don't like to get rid of their card. See what their last card is. Yeah, we hit a. Oh, wow! <laughs> oh, that's gas. Four or five. They could have five dust next turn, or if they drew a land, killed Colossal Dreadmaw. That seems good.
yeah, now Druid of the Cowl doesn't really have any profitable attacks, neither does Reclamation Sage, but Essence Scatter next turn is pretty okay. Our dragon is also threatening to kill them, so. Oh, wow. You're going to get rid of your flying blocker when we have... Interesting. I will kill all three of these. Ha-ha! All right. Okay, that's probably a better choice. That is not the way I would have arranged it had I known that they switched it with the 3-3, three, three, but still fine. Also, Essence Scatter is pretty strong here. Okay. <laughs> sure, why not? Go! Vivian Reed, cleaning up. That's a good card. I don't actually feel like they ever want to reprint Dryad Arbor just because they don't... Uh, the, the It's just a very confusing card that uh, gets mixed in with the forests more frequently than they like. And I'm going to submit like this. I don't really foresee... I almost like Disperse a little bit, just because they have a bunch of creatures. I'm going to actually bring in the Disperse instead. They have a bunch of tokens. This hand is slow, but I'll keep it. Did they let me play first? Oh, interesting. I like being on the play and having Divination. I would not mind a Druid of the Cowl this turn, though. Let's do that. Let's Druid of the Cowl. All right, it was just land, but still we got the three, four, five. Four, five, six, and draw in the same turn. Nice. Nice. Less nice. It's bad times. Dragon Egg is so weird. Seems good in the Sacrifice deck, but I don't know if that's what they're... I mean, I have to assume they're playing a variation of the Sacrifice deck. We just didn't see any Sacrifice cards in Game 1. Four two. Okay. Intriguing. Not attacking because I don't want to trade Plague Mare and Onaki Ogre for our Vigilant Bayloth. They missed a land drop though, which is nice. I think we're just taking four here. I mean, I assume they have the neg three, neg three, which makes this guy a two, two. It's a nice two for one, but I mean, just one. Oh, interesting. That would have been great. That would have been great. Skeleton Archer is a good card to know about. 
Oh, Highland game is also seems pretty good in this matchup just due to the uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So we have seven. Next time we'll have eight, so we can go three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that seems good. Let's get a Colossal Dreadmaw one time. I'll also take a Gen of Wishes. Nailed it. Um, yeah, let's get rid of the 3-3. Three, three. And we will attack with our Vigilante. Actually, do we? They just get a Dragon. Yeah, it's fine. We gotta get it off the board at some point. I mean, they can they can attack us for five this turn, but we get to draw a card. We get to play a Highland game, which should gain us some life. So now we uh, also have like Rejuvenator. Like this guy's also not great at attacking once they have Dragon Egg on board. So the faster we get it off the board, the better. I don't know if that's true. Oh, I see. So I'm going to assume it's neg three, neg three now, and we're going to block with the Bayloth. No, I'm going to be honest. I kind of like the Vigilance better than the Trample right now. So, especially if we manage to get uh, plus seven, plus seven. Yeah, they're keeping four up so they can neg three, neg three, or just electrify. Sure. Reasonable. This dragon is a little frustrating at this point, but... Play a Highland game. I don't think we're playing Rejuvenator. I think I'd rather just keep Essence Scatter up, to be honest. Yeah, I think it's Essence Scatter. Watch us killing this. Watch, watch killing this Dragon Egg be the uh, the death of us here. Man, they ain't messing around. Oh. Alright, we'll take four here. I like it. He likes it. Yeah, we have Bouncer Wizard, we have Vivian Reed, uh, we have the Bounce Spell that we put in. We have a lot of live draws. That was a nice card, too. We have Sleep. Officer of Secrets. I think we're just dead now. That's pretty stupid. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Dang. Wow. <laughs> that's unbelievable. Next card's going to do it. Yep, exactly. Boy, don't we look foolish now.
keep. Come on, Druid, one time. Never. Yeah, I was definitely considering totally lost, but five mana doesn't seem great. I mean, I'll bounce this guy. Oh, actually, we're going to play that guy instead. And then we'll bounce your token if we just want a forest. Beautiful. Now we got a game. Now we have a very, very solid game. I'm going to take one here because I don't really feel like having a zombie and no blocker. And if they don't play anything super good, we can just Vivian Reed and... Oh, that's good. Oh, that's... Oh, uh, actually, Highland game might be where we want to be. What's next turn? We're going to play both of these next turn. Now nah, I'm pretty sure we're on Snapping Drake here. Okay, this is... This is pretty good. Right, kill this guy and Vivian takes one. Sounds good. The problem with Mage is that we bounce this guy. They have to replay it for four, but then if we block here, we still take a million. But I think that's actually just fine. Okay. You can also just bounce this guy and then chump this guy. Also fine. Forces them to reinvest mana. The problem is this guy's just going to get a free kill next turn. So yeah, we'll just bounce this guy. One, two, three, four, six, seven. We can also play both of these next turn, which is nice. A 100% chump block with my 1 1. How'd you feel about playing a Vivicus as Monty deck for a playtest? Uh, okay. Very okay with it. If you're going to put some Elder Dragons in a deck, I'm okay with it. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I got a Vivian Reed on deck. I think we're just going to plus here. We're going to sleep and play a guy. Oh, wow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, let's take Jin. You can also go up to 8 with Vivian Reed and then just try to keep her alive so that they can't uh, so we can emblem emblem is pretty strong uh i do not play edh actually i like edh i think it's a cool format but uh i don't play much of it because i feel like my decisions are unimportant electrify me drake you to four kill this guy and then just play one of these two dudes that seems good one two three four five six seven actually we could play you and then keep a keep a thing up oh boy let's do that i also like druid of the cowl here What is it? Can I cast this on their turn, dude? Reveal the top card of your library. You may play that card without paying its man. I See, a lot of times I don't know. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Like with Windbrisk Kites, you can. And then there's some spells like that it says you can cast this and it doesn't let you do it.
A spell cast this way may be cast at a time you normally wouldn't be able to cast that type of spell. Okay. Okay. It's letting me do it. Okay, we're just going to pass here. That is good to know. Is it any spell? Drill a, a, a wish counter, reveal the top card of your library. No. That's pretty good. Oh, that's gas. <laughs> that's amazing. That was pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty okay. Vivian's going to go to like one here, I think. We're probably going to trade here. Vivian takes four. We'll block here. Actually, goes to three. And then we get to keep our gin. All right, so we have one. Yeah, all right, so it stays at four. Yep, that's cool. Yeah, I feel like that's correct. Goes to three. All right. So no ultimate for us. However, still in really good shape here. Almost unbelievably good shape, you might say. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. We can play you. They have one card in hand. Yeah, we'll just we'll just gamble. Just try. Oh dang! Let's see if we can hit a cancel or an essence scatter. Eh, Highland game, sure. Meteor Golem coming through. Alright, that seems good. I guess we're in regular draw card mode. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, that seems great. Where's that Rex Sage now? I mean, we're cycling through enough that we could probably hit it eventually, but one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. We're just going to keep up the. Uh... I mean, actually, do we just play? I think we actually just play Snapping Drake. Yeah, that feels better. I'd rather guarantee a third blocker than try to risk hitting something good with uh, the Jin. The only thing, the only thing nice about Jin is that um, if we had a cancel or an essence scatter, we could potentially get rid of it. Yep. <laughs> Look how much effort this it's taking to get rid of this. Uh, Um, actually, we'll keep you. To get rid of this Vivian Reed, it's actually pretty impressive. Keep the Rex Sage, or keep the uh, Meteor Golem alive, because if we do hit Rex Sage, it's just an easy, an easy trade, and it's also seven on board, so. Of course, they're just, oh, dang. Why wouldn't you do that pre-blocks? I'm tapped out. That's weird. Oh, wow. Interesting. Rexage. Dreadmaw, Drake, Salvager. Do we have... What do we have in the graveyard? Sleep? <sighs> Let's salvage some secrets. Let's put you to four. We get to keep cancel up, and then we just get to kill you next turn. 
theoretically. Well, that seems good. Good games. Assume you don't have shock in hand. Oh, that'll do, pig. Wow. First uh, first draft, and we 3-0 with the Vivian Reed. It seems pretty good. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you guys want to support me on Patreon or Twitch, you can check out the links below in the description. Really appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys next time.